guys so i've got an exciting video for you today it's a makeup tutorial on this look and um i'm going to be showing you some products that i was sent recently from a company called stargazer if you'd like to see how i got this makeup look and what i got from stargazer then please carry on watching so they sent me this box of makeup and um, to start off they sent me the stargazer permanent eyeliner pen this is what it looks like it's just got a really fine nib and it's in black so you can create a thick line or a thin line with it um, it's really good quality it's not as black as I'd like it to be um, and it's quite handy and it's quite easy to create a wing with which I was quite surprised at so the next eyeliner they sent me was actually a coal one and this is also in black and it's just a coal pencil. The last eyeliner they sent me was the Stargazer white eyeliner and this is also coal. It there. I think this one's especially cute as it's um got this white and gold packaging so I really like that. The next thing I have is this Stargazer bronzer and this doesn't actually have like a shade or anything it's just the bronzer and this is what it looks like. It's quite a peachy shade um, and it's got slight shimmer running through it. That's it there. It's really pretty. Also the great thing about this is um, once you apply it to like the top of your cheekbones you don't actually need a highlighter as it's like a sort of a two in one so yeah. Um, the next thing is a blusher and they actually sent me two blushes. First one is in the shade one or number one um, and it's just this pinky shade. I don't know if you can see. That. The next one is in the number 5 and this is a more peachy shade. And that's that one there. They then sent me some eyeshadows and the first one is in Groovy Gold. And it's just got this really nice sort of like pattern in um, and that's it there. Really really pretty. Next eyeshadow is Quick Silver and it's just this silver shade and that's it there. And lastly for the eyes they sent me some Stargazer Eye Dusts and the first one is in number 16, it's just this lilac shade. I'm running out of places to swatch these but that's it there. And then the last eye dust is in number 47 and it's this hot pink shade. This one is a lot messier. Out of the two, although, the, um, although purple complements my eyes as I have green eyes, this is actually my favourite as this is just so unusual. And it's just got glitters running through it. It there. Last things that they sent me were two lipsticks. The first one is in 122 and it's this gorgeous pinky shade. It's got slight purple undertones to it I'd say and this is a glaze sort of frosty finish I'd say. And then the last lipstick is in 201 and this is a matte formula. And it's just this gorgeous orangey red. It comes out a lot different um, on the lips and um, on my hand as it does in the tube. It's a lot sort of more rosy coloured than actual red. But it is gorgeous. So that's all the products that Stargazer sent me. Leave their web page and their Facebook in the description box. So don't forget to check them out. Thank you so much to Stargazer for sending me those beautiful products. So if you'd like to see how I got this makeup look, then please carry on watching. So 
to start, I've already applied my base, like my foundation, my primer. I've also filled in my brows. So I'm just going to prime my eyes and for that I'm using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot as always. I'm going to apply the Stargazer bronzer into my crease. It's quite a light bronzer, like for my skin tone, as I've got fake tan on at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix that with a bit of my Benefit Hula bronzer. So I'm taking that on a MAC 217 brush, dabbing that into the Hula bronzer and just a bit into the Stargazer bronzer. And I'm just taking that through my crease. That's actually created a really nice sort of orangey sort of shade. So I'm going to be using the Groovy Gold eyeshadow. I'm going to pack that onto my lid using a brush from their Naked Free palette from Urban Decay. Just packing that onto my brush, then just pressing that into my lid. And as you can see, that gold is really pretty. I'm gonna go back to that Hula bronzer and just dust that some more into the crease. I'm just taking a big fluffy blending brush and I'm just blending that out. Like my inner corner, I'm just using the shade Quick Silver, and I'm just using the other end of my brush to apply that. And for the exciting part, I'm taking the two Stargazer eye dusts. This one is number 16, and then this one is 47. I'm just using my Urban Decay Electric Palette brush to apply these. So I'm just taking the smaller end of the brush, just patting that into that eye dust. To help the eye dust look a bit more vibrant I'm using my MAC Fix Plus spray and I'm just spraying that onto the brush. I'm just going to be applying this to my lower lash line. And as you can see, that's a really gorgeous lilac. I'm then going to be applying the number 47 eye dust with the same brush. Just doing the same process. But I'm going to be applying this to the outer corner of my eye. I'm just blending that into that purple. You'll find the pink is a lot harder, sort of like, it's a lot messier than the purple. Um, as you can see, it's gone all over my hand, but um, just clean that up. It's gone all over my mirror as well, but that looks kind of cool. That's the eyeshadow done. I'm then just going to be using the Stargazer Coal Liner, and this is in number one. I'm going to be applying this to my waterline. Just taking that in the outer part of my eye. I don't want to bring it in too close because I don't want to close my eyes up and make them look really small. Then just using my Primark eyelash curlers, I'm just curling my eyelashes. Using the Stargazer Permanent Eyeliner Pen, I'm just going to line my eyes. 
I'm going to create a small wing with this as well. One thing I would say is, um, I wish that this was a lot like blacker, um, as I do like my eyeliner, really like black. I'm just coating my lashes using the Maybelline, the Colossal Go Extreme Volume. Just applying some mascara to my bottom lashes as well. And then just apply my favourite lashes, which are the MAC number 12 lashes. As I always say, you can like skip putting lashes on, but um, I find with looks like this, that have colour, they, they just look, make the look a bit more sort of wearable and um, more put together. And that's the eyes complete. Now I've already applied concealer under my eyes earlier, so I'm just going to leave that. Um, but if you need to tidy up under your eyes, then just apply some concealer or just grab your foundation brush and just tidy away all the fallout. But, um, to bronze up my face, I'm using the Stargazer bronzer again. I'm using my Real Techniques blush brush for that. I'm going to sweep this onto the tops of my cheekbones. As it does have a slight shimmer to the bronzer, so I could, there's no way that I could like contour with this, unless I want to look like a glittery mess. Just sweeping that across my forehead as well. It is actually a really pretty bronzer, so just gonna apply a bit more. <laughs> As this does have shimmer in it, I'm not actually going to be applying a highlighter today. The blush, I'm going to be using the Stargazer blusher in the in the in the shade number one, and this is the pinky colour. Using my Real Techniques stippling brush, just applying this to the apples of my cheeks. I actually really like that, I think it's really pretty. For the lips, I can't decide which lipstick to use, so I'm just going to first apply the pinky shade. And this is in number 122. So this is the pinky shade. I think it complements the eyes really nicely and the cheeks, um, but I'm just going to show you the second shade. So the second shade is this beautiful sort of orangey red and this is actually a matte lipstick um, which is my favourite finish. So this is the second lip option. Of course this is like a typical red but it is like red but it's got quite like a pinky sort of, I don't know, it's like sort of a more pinky sort of red than what it looks like what it looks like in the tube but um I really like it but I was expecting it to actually be the colour of like it is in the tube. What I will say is the, the lipsticks are really moisturising. Even though we have the lilac or like underneath the lower lash line I still think that you could wear this lipstick as um it's not as vibrant as I was expecting it to be, so it's a lot more wearable. So this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to go check out Stargazer as they do some great quality products for great prices. So I'll leave their links in the description down below and all the products that were used in this video. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you recreate this look, then please don't forget to hashtag me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll leave them down below as well. And also, please like the video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you'd like to see more upcoming videos from me. One last thing, um, please leave any video requests, as always, in the comments below. So, 
Bye.